Okay, so against the cage or wall in this case, um, a couple things I, I really like to focus on. One here is I can actually keep this hand flat against the cage or wall here, and I'm just keeping this pin, okay? Now I'm coming to this position again here and fighting this out. Once I have this underhook broke, where he can no longer control my upper body here, tight into his body, now I can drop down, drop my body. If I have to take a knee, I can, and I'm just clinching right in my back here. Okay, from here, stepping up into a strong squat position, picking off the wall. From here, I'm going to want to keep head, and now I can scoop. Okay. So against the cage here, I have a lot of pressure in, keeping this high, fighting this in towards his body, dropping, and I want to keep the pressure on him, okay? If I try to drop and I, re I release the pressure, he's going to circle out and fight. Okay, we don't want that. So on the center hook here, pressure's in. I'm sliding down the body here, keeping the pressure in until I have my hands joined. Whether I want to drop to a knee or stay, I'm stepping, picking, and I'm clearing the legs to the outside. One thing else that's uh, important here is as I'm dropping, I'm really focusing again on keeping these elbows in, okay? If I try to slide down his body here, and my elbows are up, he's gonna dig under hooks, okay? And this is where you see this position here, okay? I just keep my elbows in. As I slide down the body, I don't have to worry about that. Here, elbows in, okay? And I'm gonna circle off the kitchen. here. I'm just, I'm wrapping right behind the legs like this, okay? You can also come to Gable Grip.